Have you ever wondered about the life of US men's national team star, Tyler Adams' life beyond the football pitch? There's more than meets the eye to this tough tackling midfielder, plying his trade in the Premier League. Let's uncover his fascinating lifestyle. Tyler joined the senior reserve team of the New York Red Bulls in 2015 after progressing through their youth system. He advanced to their first team roster in 2016 and spent three years there. In April 2016, he made his MLS debut by starting against the San Jose Earthquakes before going back on loan to Red Bulls 2 for the rest of the campaign. During his time here, Adams helped New York reach their first US Open final since 2003. Adams also opened the scoring for New York in a 3-1 victory over Club Tijuana in March 2018, helping the team to its first ever CONCACAF Champions League semi-final appearance. Adams joined Red Bulls Leipzig in January 2019, reuniting him with former coach Jesse Marsh. That year, Adams was part of the Leipzig team who reached the DFB Pokal final, before eventually losing 3-0 to Bayern Munich. The 2020 season was a highlight for Adams especially in the Champions League. In Leipzig's 2-1 victory over Atletico Madrid, Adams scored the game-winning goal, advancing the team to the UEFA Champions League semi-finals for the first time. In July 2022, Adams signed a five-year contract with Leeds United for a rumored £20 million transfer fee. He started for Leeds in their 2-1 home victory over Wolverhampton Wanderers on August 6, marking his league debut for the club. Most recently, at the 2022 Qatar World Cup, Tyler Adams was named the US men's national team captain, making him the youngest national team captain since 1950. Tyler Adams was born in Wappingers Falls, New York. He is the son of Melissa Russo and his stepfather Daryl Sullivan. It is unknown who his biological father is. Tyler's mother Melissa was only 22 years old when she gave birth to him. At the time, she had recently graduated from community college and was still living with her parents. When Tyler was two years old, Melissa and him moved into an apartment in Poughkeepsie. Because of the responsibilities of raising Tyler, Melissa had to delay her own own education. It wasn't until Tyler was around 7 years old that she started taking evening classes to earn her bachelor's degree while working as a mortgage underwriter. Melissa would drive Tyler the 75 miles to the team's practice facility in New Jersey after the New York Red Bulls accepted him into their academy. His mother Melissa has three stepbrothers from her relationship with Daryl Sullivan Sr. Melissa and Daryl Sr. met in high school in the 1990s. With Daryl Sr. being two years older. While both were on the school soccer team, Tyler and Daryl Jr. became close friends. Before moving in with Melissa and Daryl Sr., Adam stayed at the Sullivan household on multiple occasions. When he moved in, the family of two suddenly grew to six, with Melissa, Tyler Daryl Sr., and his three sons, Daryl Jr., Dylan, and Donovan. Adams had a good relationship with Dylan and Daryl Jr., but it took some time for him to get along with Donovan. Tyler is currently dating Sarah Schmidt, and it appears that they have been together for a considerable amount of time. The couple appears to not be in the spotlight of the media and prefers to live a private life. Tyler sometimes uploads pictures of the two on his Instagram, most recently wishing his girlfriend Sarah a happy birthday. Judging by his post, Tyler is very appreciative of Sarah's support. Tyler Adams returned to club football with Leeds United after taking some well-earned time off in Thailand. Land. The Floating Village, also known as Koh Panyi, is a place where Adams enjoyed some downtime in Panya Bay, Thailand. With the caption Footy in the Floating Village, he posted photos and videos from his trip to Koh Panyi to his 300,000 Instagram followers. It's evident to see on Tyler's Instagram that he loves posting about his vacations. In the last few years, he took big trips to places like Iceland and Mexico where he spent some time with close friends. There isn't much information around surrounding Tyler's properties, but we do get a sneak peek into his Leipzig home when Tyler participates in a day in the life video. Firstly, it seems Tyler was living in a lavish apartment complex. Inside, Tyler had a walk-in wardrobe with one whole shelving unit holding the vast number of sneakers he owns. He likes his own independence, and we see Adams even ironing his own clothes before he sets off for training. Adams states in the video that one of the 
Leipzig staff members helped him settle in by giving him $30,000 worth of furniture for just $5,000. Perhaps the most obvious display of Tyler's wealth is his car collection. Tyler has an impressive range of cars and expensive taste. Most notably, he has been seen driving an Audi RS5 Sportback. The Audi RS5 offers a fluid drive with maximum thrill, with its stunning-looking design packed with incredible thrilling performance accompanied by a luxurious interior, makes it among the best cars from Tyler Adams' collection. Next on Tyler's collection is the Range Rover Velar, a stylish-looking SUV that impresses with its luxury and upscale driving and sturdy performance. Velar provides decent enthusiastic handling that pairs well with its fancy interior that makes up for a good urban drive. This is a high-style SUV with an undeniable road presence and a well-respected luxury name. Tyler even gifted his parents a beautiful Mercedes-Benz C-Class. The C-Class packs a powerful turbocharged engine that makes 204 horsepower. Paired with a smooth automatic transmission and good handling dynamics. The C-Class makes for a worthy deal. When in Leipzig, Tyler used his bike to get around the city more so than some of his lavish cars, as he doesn't like being stuck in traffic. In Tyler's Day in the Life video, he brings us to his local bike store to fix a flat tire. The player's main source of income is a salary from Leeds United. If he continues to perform at a high level of excellence, he can expect to increase his salary in the future. Along with his Leeds United salary, Tyler has several other income sources. He has a deal with Nike as his primary boot sponsor. As per the endorsement deal, he wears the company's boots in every match he plays and also endorses the company's products on his social media. He has also teamed up with the GPS tracking company Stat Sports as an ambassador for the company. His astonishing income from Leeds is included in his estimated net worth of around $4 million. Tyler Adams just committed to Leeds United with a five-year deal that keeps him there through 2027. According to reports, he will make $24 million for his whole tenure and $4.8 million per year on average. Football has been Tyler's primary source of income. As of 2022, the player's net worth is projected to be around $3.5 million pounds. According to the transfer market, the player is worth 17 million euros on the marketplace. His market value has been rising sharply, and it won't be a surprise if big clubs come knocking on the door in the near future. Most recently during the World Cup, Tyler Adams was scolded by an Iranian journalist for pronouncing Iran incorrectly. Adams responded succinctly by apologizing, showcasing that he was focused on the game of football between both countries. Tyler Adams explained that Leeds United persuaded him to join by presenting him a detailed document on how the move would change his life. Tyler said, Leeds caught me off guard with how much they knew about me. The research that they did, they basically did a full 30-page PowerPoint presentation of statistics and how I can thrive in the Premier League. Tyler Adams has made a strong start at Leeds United, but he also has an online degree on his plate. So football is not his only priority. Following his summer transfer from the Red Bulls Leipzig. The 23-year-old is currently two years into a psychology degree, which he pursues in his spare time when he's not training or competing for the Whites. A few weeks after receiving his high school diploma, Adams enrolled at Southern New Hampshire University to take online courses. It wasn't a decision that was made on the spot. However, Adams' mother negotiated a provision specifying that his tuition would be reimbursed each time he passed a course in college back in 2015 when he signed his first professional contract with the Red Bulls. 